I don't know. And that's, that's not really my thing. I, I'm in it, but I don't really know. I'm in it too. Bang Zoom sent me an email saying, we're almost done, we're almost done. It's like, but you've been almost done for three years. Three years yeah. <laughs> So uh, I would assume it would be done like uh, December. That's my guess. I think a good time to bow out the premiere of that would be like Expo. Uh, yes. Definitely. It'd be a good time. I'm not saying it'll happen, but with all the Comic Con, Comic Con would be another great opportunity to bow out because there's a lot of people interested in the whole voice acting thing. Yeah. Pretty much. Who's playing the Arakar? Any, Any of them? Yeah. Oh, casting info? No, we're not really privy to that. Plus, if we are, we're not supposed to talk about it. At least the Who is what? And then even Who's sometimes doing that. Oh, don't tell him! Oh, my God! We, don't, we can't know that that person was. I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> Yes! Um, you guys don't know, I played Nero and Devil May Cry, it was really fun. Doing that? Um, well, yeah, for Devil May Cry 4, you guys know what it is? Devil May Cry 4? It's part 4 of a game. Um, kind of. And I, I got to play the character Nero, which you, which you play. Uh, and some people were pissed off because they thought that you would never get to see Dante or play Dante. But it's a good, it's it's cool. Um, but they t they flew me to Japan for it so that I could do all the because like I know martial arts and stuff. And so they're like, well, if he can do it, why don't we just have him do it? And so I went there to do all the motion capture stuff where they stick all those shiny balls on you, you know, and you move around and it captures you. Um, so that was fun. I I think uh, one of the most fun things about that, I think, is that it, there's so much more freedom in, in, when, when it came to acting that character because we're, we're doing like anime or playing Ichigo, it's already drawn out. So if the character's crying, then I'm going to be doing a crying thing, you know, or if he's screaming, I'm going to be screaming, you know. Um, whereas with Nero, it was just on paper and it didn't really say that he was screaming or yelling or he's crying or emotional. It would just kind of give me lines in some basic direction, and most of it I just kind of got to play around with myself, so that was the most fun. Damn. I, I just caught the end of that when you said you're playing around with yourself. <laughs> Must have been an interesting answer. Yes, they flew me to Japan. No question right there? I have a favorite saying, but the, I have a lot of, I, I enjoy doing the, the fight stuff for Hollow Ichigo, you know, because Ichigo is more like, like real low, and then Hollow Ichigo is like, Establish a character may take five, ten minutes to, to hone in on a voice. But once you've established that, you can come back easily from week to week or session to session and just kind of turn it on, at least for me. Well, they also have um, what's called a pull quote. And you know, they'll use a line that you've done before to remind you of how the character sounds. And it, also, it depends on what kind of uh, schedule you have, too. If this show has to be out right away, you don't have much time at all. You have to be right there. If the show is like a long series, then you can always like read the manga and stuff like that to find out more about the character and uh, find uh, stuff online as well. 
Ditto. <laughs> Most awesome answer ever. Yeah.